In this video, you'll learn all about sorting data in pandas, ascending, descending, by multiple columns, and more. Let's get started. My name's Nick and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't checked out the other parts of this pandas beginner series, be sure to check them out by clicking the link right up here. Today we'll talk all about sorting pandas data frames. Let's get coding. We're going to import pandas just like we normally do. For this tutorial, we're going to use a different data set that allows us to really sort our values. The other data set is great for a lot of things, but it's not great to demonstrate how best to sort your data. I'll link this one down below, but it's a very small data set so we can really see what's going on as we work through this tutorial. So let's import this and assign it to the DF. Now we can take a look at what the first five records look like by using the head function. If you're not familiar with the head function, check out this video above to learn more. Okay, so we have a date column, a name column, as well as a score column. So let's say that we wanted to sort our data, which right now comes default sorted by whatever it was sorted on initially, and say we wanted to sort it by the name column. We could write df sort values, and then in quotes, we would write name. When we run this now, we can see here that it's now sorted alphabetically, ascendingly, by the name column. By default, the sort values function will sort your data ascendingly, but say you wanted to return it descendingly, then you would simply write the exact same thing we wrote before, but pass in ascending equals false. Now we can see that the name column is sorted descendingly. You can notice that we have a missing value in here. Pandas also gives you the option of displaying these values first. So let's give that a shot. We'll sort it again descendingly. And now we'll write na underscore position equals first. Now when we run this, we can see that it's still sorted descendingly, but that the missing value is returned first. So far, you've learned how to sort just one column, but what if you want to sort more than one column? Let's take a look. So to sort your data by two different columns, you simply pass in the columns you want to sort by in the order in which you want them to be sorted as a list into the sort values function. So say we wanted to sort by name and score, both ascendingly, we could write df sort values. And then here, instead of just passing in a single column name, we'll include a list where we first write name and then score. Now when we run this, we can see that all the values are first sorted alphabetically ascendingly by name and then within that by score. There may be times when you want to sort your data by one column ascendingly and by another column descendingly. In order to do this, we can simply take the same code we had before, we can pass in ascending again, and include a, a, a list of booleans. So say we wanted to sort name descendingly but score ascendingly, we could write false and true. You can see now that the name column has been sorted descendingly, but the score column is still sorted ascendingly. An important thing to note about the sort values function is that it doesn't actually right now modify the object df. So if we still now wanted to return the data frame, we can see that it's returned it in its original state. There's two different ways of actually modifying the object. The first would be by reassigning the data frame. So you could write df, df.sort values, and then say we sort it by name. Now when we print this out, we can see that the data frame has actually been manipulated. Similarly, if we didn't want to reassign the object, we could use the in place equals true argument. So we could write sort values, and this time we'll sort it by score, and we'll put in in place equals true. Now when we return the data frame again, we can see that it's been resorted by score. So you've learned quite a bit in this video. You've learned how to sort data by a single column, by multiple columns, as well as by different sort orders. I hope you learned a lot today. 
If you enjoyed this video, be sure to hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet. Click the little bell icon to be notified of when I release new videos just like this one. Thanks for watching and have a great day.